Hey guys, Randy here, and in this week's Reef to Reef FAQ, we're pulling questions and comments from last week's Spotlight video on the Kessel A360 WE Tuna Blue LED. The first one comes from Salty Film Folks' question, did I miss the PAR numbers? This is a great time to point out that on BRS TV Spotlight, we incorporate data that we found from the in-depth testing of BRS TV Investigates episodes to provide you with usable and easy suggestions on things like setting intensity, choosing a color spectrum, and how many you need for your tank. If you really want to dive in deep into the PAR charts and comparisons, I highly suggest checking out BRS TV Investigates episode, discovering even more about the Kessel A360 Tuna Blue, where Ryan lays out nearly all the data that you'd ever want to know. The next question comes to us from Moody Ajean on YouTube who asks, I have an IM Lagoon 25 that will be mixed. As it's a shallow tank, what do you suggest in terms of height and intensity? Let's first take a look at the dimensions of the Innovative Marine 25 Fusion Lagoon, which comes in at 24 inches wide, 20 inches front to back, and only 12 inches deep. With the exception of being shallow, these dimensions are pretty close to the BRS TV Investigates 24 inch cube testing tank. So let's take a quick look at some PAR numbers that we found from that test at measurements 6 inches below the water surface and with the light mounted 8 inches from the top of the water. At 6 inches underwater with 100% intensity and the color dial set to halfway, we see an overall average of 145 PAR between all 36 measurement points with the center average in mid 200s and then gradually falling off towards the edges. So what does that mean for the innovative marine lagoon tank? Well, since the PAR measurement grid is a 24 by 24 inch square, you can see that the sweet spot for SPS corals is going to be near the center and in the top half of the water column, followed by LPS and softies being more towards the bottom and outer edges. That said, down the road if you wanted to add more SPS coral throughout the tank, you'll probably want to add an additional A360 and mount them as high as 10 to 12 inches with 100% intensity, or keep them mounted at 8 inches, but dial back the intensity to somewhere between 50 to 75%. Finally, our last comment was from John Mo 75 who brings up a great point about using the Apex to program the Kessel A360 lights. He mentions, when using the Apex to program the Kessel Light's intensity channel, some lights turn on between the ranges of 10% and 15%, and when programming the intensity, it would be best not to have the starting point be at 0%, but rather 10 to 15%, depending on the individual light. This is absolutely true, which many Kessel users have come to discover when programming their lights. Although Kessel doesn't directly state what specific voltage is required to power on their dense matrix LED chip, we could probably guess that it's somewhere between 1 volt to 1.5 volts as the variable speed control on the Neptune Apex is a 0 to 10 volt control. With those 10 volts broken down from 0% to 100%, each 1% increase is a tenth of a volt, and around 10 to 15% is where most people find that their lights turn on. I personally tested two Kessel A360s individually over one of my office tanks and found that they both power on right at 11%. Just to double check, I pulled another A360 from the studio and it also began to light up at the same 11% mark. So why is this important? Basically, if you program your lights to start ramping up at 9 a.m. with 0% intensity and by 10 a.m. they reach that 10% to 15% mark, your actual light schedule doesn't really start until 10 a.m. With that in mind, it's worth the extra few seconds to find out where your lights power on and use that to help you fine tune your daily light cycle. Well guys, that does it for today's Reef to Reef FAQ and thank you so much for the questions and comments. You can find a new BRS TV Spotlight video every week on the Reef to Reef BRS sponsor page, so be sure to chime in when you have anything more you want to know. See you tomorrow with the next Spotlight video where we explore the Neptune Apex LDK.